What's up, Pisces gang? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here. Welcome. I am Quisha here with Abundant Healing. I was sent here from the universe to give you guys some good messages, some good love, some good readings, some good healing, some good vibes, and so much, much more. I was sent here to give you all of that, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So thank you, beautiful people, for joining me today. Welcome to your daily money reading. We do these readings every single day over here, and if you want to be a part of this Millionaire Pisces Club, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you would like to receive more channel messages on how you can become more abundant and attract more money into your life, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I know that we all can use a boost in our finances. So if that's you, you want to receive more messages, um, you want to receive you know, more money and, and learn to attract more money into your life, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that's what we are all about, okay? Um, thank you guys so much for all the support. I always got to thank all of my beautiful supporters. If you have ordered or if you have reached out to me in regards to receiving some free crystals or black tourmaline, you can go ahead and, and be looking out for that. It is in the mail. You probably already received an email saying that you do have a small little gift coming from me. Yes, I will be sending you guys three crystals. Okay, so not only just black tourmaline, but I do have a ton of crystals. I realized that I have so many crystals, y'all. And I really just want to give back, okay? So if you want to receive some free crystals, go ahead and send me an email with, you know, where you want me to send them. And I will send you guys some free crystals. If you want to learn how to use crystals, the link um, is in the description box. You can go to my website, AbundantHealingShops.com, and um, full of crystals as, as uh, you know. As a matter of fact, not a matter of fact, but anyways, my website is full of crystals. <laughs> but if you want to learn how to use crystals, there is a blog post over there that will tell you how you can incorporate crystals into your daily life and what crystals mean and how you can use them to manifest things or to attract more things into your life. Okay. Um, but if you want to receive first free crystals, go ahead and hit that, um, hit me up in my, um, in my email and I'll send you guys some. Um, I'm trying to focus on the outside noise. That's why I keep getting stumbled over my words because like I'm there my neighbor so weird. He always do yard work at the worst time. Like he'll be doing yard work at at night. Mowing his lawn at night and I don't get it. So right now he's out there, he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing, but it's about to rain, so I don't understand why he's in the yard working, but whatever. If the noise get too loud, I will shut my window. But I like having the window open because, you know, I like to kind of get that fresh air in here as I'm doing your readings. And I like to hear the sound of nature too. So, but if it gets a little too out of hand, I will be closing the window uh, because I don't want him to interrupt my reading, okay? So that's that's just little disclaimer um so yeah um if you guys want to receive more crystals or you want to receive some free crystals then hit me up in my email and i'll send you guys some free crystals if you want to receive a self-love mystery box or a wealth and abundance mystery box you can do so by clicking the link in the description box if you want to receive pisces merch you can do so by clicking the link in the description box as well i have on new bracelets well these ain't new but I decided to wear these today um, because, you know, it's money reading. So, y'all know the green routine is all about promoting more money, more wealth, and abundance. This is also, you will find all of these bracelets like this in the wealth and abundance mystery box along with the green routine ring. You will find them in the wealth and abundance mystery box along with these beautiful tumbled stones and citrine and other stones too you will find these um this is strawberry quartz you will find this in the self-love mystery box yep doesn't it make sense self-love wealth and abundance ha, you already know what time it is so if you want to receive something go ahead and hit me up or if you want to buy something go ahead and hit the description box up now let me jump into y'all money reading honey because it's been what almost five minutes and i'm just sitting here just rambling on 
Just rambling, rambling, rambling. Let me get into y'all reading. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Universe, what messages do you have for me to get to the beautiful Pisces collected today in regards to money, in regards to wealth and abundance, in regards to their careers, in regards to their income? What messages, what advice can I give the Pisces collected today? Thank you so much, Universe. Please bring in the most relevant messages for the Pisces collected today. In regards to money, in regards to wealth, in regards to abundance, in regards to success. Ooh, look at that. First card coming out in regards to money. We got the King of Pentacles. We got the King of Pentacles. So much stability, financial, so much material wealth is coming to you, Pisces. You are very stable financially. If not, then this is definitely going to be you. Okay? Come on. Tell me more, universe. What more? Oh, look at that. Seven of Pentacles in regards to your money. Seven of Pentacles coming out. So you've been working. You've been. <laughs> Why did that song just come in my head? I've been working on the railroad. Running in it all day. Y'all know that song? Or is it just me? Like, am I the oldest? below if you guys remember that song as a kid growing up that's i remember i don't know if it was like kindergarten or what but i've been working on the real world for a mighty long day and that's what i that's the song that came to my head when this seven of pentacles came out because it's like you've been working at something you've been toiling away you've been putting a lot of effort into something and you may feel like that you are not receiving what you want to receive in this point in time but the universe is saying that everything is going to happen to you in the perfect timing and what you're doing right now you are setting yourself up for financial wealth so when you're so you're setting yourself up for financial stability okay the all the work that you're putting in do not think that it is going to go unseen or unacknowledged or it's all in vain because you are planting seeds and you are nurturing these seeds and very soon you will be able to eat from the fruit that these seeds will produce okay if that makes sense to y'all i know i'll be speaking metaphorically but you know what i mean okay you are sowing into your future you are sowing into your future endeavors you are sowing into your 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 kids future your kids kids future Okay, so don't take anything for don't don't take anything um, for what it is right now. Like if you feel like right now you haven't been um, acknowledged for the amount of work that you've been putting in or you haven't been um, receiving financial or fine, you haven't been receiving the amount of finances that you want to receive because you've been working so hard, then the universe is saying don't stress about it just know that all the work that you are putting in now is going to pay off in the long run okay the seven of pentacles is all about investing into your long-term goals okay now you have short-term goals that you've probably already accomplished because the king of pentacles is here the king of pentacles is here and the king of pentacles is all about stability financial stability okay the king of pentacles is all about literally um having that st that stability financially having that solid foundation to build wealth okay and the seven of pentacles is about investing into your long-term goals when you're wanting to become wealthy you have to well be you can't become wealthy overnight okay you can't become wealthy overnight being wealthy takes a lot of effort in investing right now so that in the future you become wealthy your kids are wealthy wealthy is a legacy that you are able to leave okay with your with your heirs with your kids with their with your grandkids okay wealth is not just something that that happens overnight you could become rich overnight okay you could become rich overnight Tomorrow you can wake up rich. You know what I'm saying? But you can't wake up tomorrow wealthy. 
if you know what I mean. Okay, so just know that everything that you're doing right now, all the work that you're putting in, you're you're investing into your wealth. Okay, you're not investing into being rich because you probably are already rich right now. You just don't even know it. <laughs> and you're rich spiritually, you don't even know it. You're rich mentally and don't even know it. Okay, so you're rich right now, but you to become wealthy, you have to invest into, into your long-term goals. Okay, if that makes sense. Let me know if that makes sense for you guys. Okay, coming out, we have the death in the we have the death in the five of swords. The death has has really acknowledged has has been coming up in a lot of these readings that I've been doing. So you're transforming yourself into a beautiful being. Okay, the death card may seem like to some of y'all like the death card may seem like oh shit somebody's about to die. Or oh snap, is my life in is my life in danger? And it's like, no, y'all. That's not what the death card is saying. The death card is all about transformation. The death card is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is all about transforming. Yes, it's about death and rebirth, but as a as a spiritual on a more spiritual um realm versus a more physical realm okay now on the physical realm in the sense of you transforming your life you transforming um you are getting rid of old beliefs you're getting rid of old habits you're getting rid of old you're getting rid of old things that no longer serve you people places and things okay parts of your character that you no longer want to be a part of you okay so we're talking about um, deading an old part of yourself and be becoming reborn again. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about death. In regards to your money, when we're talking about your career and your success um, in the in the form of death and rebirth, we're talking about you getting rid of some old beliefs, some old um, parts of um, saving, or some old things that you know were kind of keeping you. Um, from living to your fullest potential, from being successful. These things that don't um, benefit you in your success, you're getting rid of these things and you, not, you are now transforming the way that you have, um, you are now transforming your relationship with money. You are now transforming the way that you perceive money. Okay? Comment below if that makes sense. Comment below. I'd really like to know if this makes sense to you guys. Also, the death card is, and I've never pointed this out, but the death card is the number 13 and one plus three is four. And four and four in numerology is all about stability. We're talking about fours. We're talking about stability. We're talking about a stable foundation. So you are reborn. You are transforming yourself to have a more stable a more solid foundation when it comes to your success okay now we talk about the five in numerology we talk about change <coughs> excuse me so the head you have the five of swords here the five of swords is talking about change and the swords are all about intellect and communication so there's a lot of change that's going to be happening within your communication as far as how you communicate your feelings and your and you express yourself to others and you're setting boundaries to others okay but with the five of swords showing up here now in a sense this could be you um this could be you feeling like you have to overrule someone or win some type of battle when it comes to communicating now what i'm getting from this five of swords is that the way that we use our words we can use our words as weapons okay so be careful about the way that you communicate with others and vice versa okay so you want to make sure that when you are communicating with someone that isn't if it's an effective communication and the same goes to someone that's communicating with you you want to make sure that this person is communicating with you effectively so that you're able to grasp what the communication or what they are trying to say okay so now whether this is you okay i'm gonna just show you the illustration again whether this is you on the back end being communicated to in a way that is not resonating with you 
or if this is you on the front end being the communicator who is not communicating effectively, okay? Either way, you want to make sure that you are setting boundaries within your communication. You want to make sure that you are being truthful. You want to make sure that the other person that you are communicating with are so being truthful, okay? I hope this is making sense, y'all. You have to change the way that you express yourself in order for you in order for your voice to be heard. Now, you also may need to change the way that you talk to yourself. You may need to change the way that you um communicate with yourself make sure that you are having positive self-talks okay make sure that you are keeping it real with yourself because you can't keep it real with somebody else if you don't keep it real with yourself all right so whether you're on the front end or the back end of this communication um change just make sure that you are setting boundaries make sure that you are not being so, too soft spoken to where your voice is not being heard and and make sure that you're not the person who is being too loud when it comes to trying to be heard and make sure that you are listening in the conversation and make sure that you are communicating effectively showing up here at the bottom of the deck you have the queen of pentacles okay we have the queen of pentacles and you also got the king of pentacles so the queen of pentacles is speaking in regards to you being a nurturer not only do you have a solid foundation but you also have a very very compassionate heart when it comes to giving back to your community in the in the sense of finances in the sense of nurturing as far as you know maybe even feeding the homeless maybe even you know getting together with your family and cooking a nice meal okay because the 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 queen of pentacles talks about um being stable financially but more so on the um giving side as far as because when we talk about pentacles we talk about the physical realm and we're talking about like nurturing people in the physical aspect like feeding people um preparing a nice meal for your your loved ones or even your friends okay so just giving back in the sense of not just financially because the king of pentacles is all about giving back financially you know but the the queen of pentacles is about giving back on the physical realm like more nurturing um physically nurturing okay if that makes sense you also have the queen of pentacles um i mean not the queen of pentacles the queen of cups also follow by the eight of swords on the top we have the justice cards followed by the four of pentacles followed by the queen all of these queen of swords and queen of pentacles and kings and queens kings and queens honey i got a lot of kings and queens that's watching me right now all of you beautiful people are kings and queens now i do want to get some clarification here we got one clarifying card, the Eight of Cups, coming out. Let's get some more clarifying cards. Page of Swords, okay. So you have a lot of new ideas. You're walking away from something. Um, let me get some more clarifying cards. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. It's like every time the five of swords show up, the seven of swords show up too. It's like they always work together for some reason. The seven of swords always show up with the five of swords, at least in the readings that I do. I don't ever, I mean, sometimes I can pull the seven of swords without pulling the five of swords, but I swear y'all, every time I pull the five of swords, the seven of swords shows itself. Every time. Okay, so, so crazy though. All right, let's start on this end. Um, the Eight of Cups is clarifying the King of Pentacles. And this is telling me that you're walking away from something because you feel like you need to be able to find a stable ground and find a, uh, because I feel like you're walking away from a lot of relationships that are no longer serving you, that are no longer benefiting you. And I feel like you don't have anything else to offer when it comes to these relationships. You, it, I feel like these relationships have caused you a lot of depletion, a lot of feeling empty. As you can see, all of eight, 
all eight of these cups are empty and she's walking away from them because these are relationships that are no longer serving you. These may be business relationships. These may be your coworkers. These may be you walking away from a job full of people that are just empty on the inside and then they drain your energy. So you're trying to find a higher source, you know, so that you can replenish yourself. And that's why you're walking away from that because you know that you are you know that you are a king or you know that you are a queen and you want to establish this in the universe and you want to establish this in your reality. So you got to walk away from these things because they're not allowing you to live to your fullest potential. Here showing up to clarify the seven of pentacles, we have the page of swords. Now the page of swords, it's more about new ideas and, and, and it's about you um, embracing these new ideas and you wanting to, um, conquer these new ideas now with this on top of the seven of pentacles this is telling me that you have a lot of ideas that you want to um that you want to nurture and you can continue to nurture these new ideas and know that they are definitely going to pay off in the long run invest these new ideas into what you're already doing if this is something that you're doing like say for instance you have a business and you have new ideas to try to um grow this business into um it's just like, I feel like there's a lot of investment into these old ideas that are causing these old ideas or this, I'm not going to say old ideas, but it's like your work that you're doing now, there's a lot of new things that you can, that you can, okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Innovation. Okay. So try new innovative ways to do things if you've been doing something and you've been doing the same thing for a long time and you feel like it's not giving you what you want try something new try something innovative but still keep your eye keep the keep the what i'm trying to say D don't change the destination but maybe try to change the the route that you're taking to get to the destination if that makes sense don't you don't have to change your goal but maybe change the things that you're doing that is getting you closer to that goal be more innovative if that makes sense okay comment below um so the seven of swords is here to clarify the death card okay so what this is telling me is that because the seven of swords is about somebody being sneaky or somebody trying to get away with something but for some reason y'all i feel like the death card in the seven of swords it doesn't it look like they're doing the same type of dance right is it am i tripping but it looked like like this leg is crossed over here this leg is crossed over here so Okay, what I'm getting is you're no longer allowing like people to walk all over you. I feel like Pisces, you're someone that is very sweet. You have a very nice heart. Not you have a great heart. You have a heart of gold. You have you have so many good qualities about yourself and, and maybe you are a bit of soft spoken and people can walk all over you and people can feel like they can take advantage of you and, and, and get away with being sneaky and try to take your kindness for weakness. But you are no longer, you. this is not who you are anymore. You're transforming this part of yourself to be more outspoken, okay? And, and to be more effective to be more effective when you communicate with someone to be more um straightforward okay and not let people walk all over you okay stand your ground and know who you are okay you have the ace of pentacles coming to clarify the five of swords and this just this is telling me that honey the universe is blessing you Okay, because the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity for you to receive so much abundance. Okay, this is a, a, the Ace of Pentacles. And it's crazy because we, we started with the King and now we're ending with the Ace. Okay, so this is definitely, definitely financial abundance that is all 
around you. So much happening in on the spiritual realm. The universe is giving you so much financial freedom. Okay, but there's a lot that is being done on the spiritual realm as well. Okay, so embrace these things. Embrace your communication. Embrace your um, transformation. Because all of these things are putting you in such a great place to receive so much financial abundance. This is putting you in a great place to be so successful in your job, in your career, whatever you're doing. This is an opportunity for you to change who you are. And not just change who you are, but transform who you are. Become more innovative. Become more um, effective when you communicate. Become more... Um, strong in your willpower, become more truthful, okay? Know how to set boundaries so that people can't walk all over you. And when you, like, once you start to um, interpret these things into your daily life, you're able to see clearly and you're able to live to your fullest potential and you're able to be whoever and whatever you want to be. You're able to accumulate however much money you feel like you want to accumulate in your life. Okay? That is what I got for you guys. This was very long. My readings have been, my readings have been long lately, but um, that's just the way that it is. That's just, that's just what it is. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you beautiful people. If you want to support the channel, all the links are below in the description box. Thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if anything in this message resonates with you. I love to hear from you guys. Okay? Thank you so much Pisces. I hope you are having a beautiful day. Bye.